point being Emma, there's all white people that are being I'd have to agree with Joe on that video. Sorry. No. no. You got you called that wrong, Donny Danny. You really have I thought better of you, mate. To avoid that mistake. <laughs> Oh, that's what he is. <laughs> Danny Jones is not far left. He fucking is, without opinion. <laughs> <laughs> you put yourself in his butt like that. What are you talking about? <laughs> I don't see that. How that that's far racist. left. Let me just put it this way, right? That's not that wasn't racist, and even even the black supremacists, even even the black nationalists, even ordinary black people. Uh, don't agree with Black Lives Matter, and there's plenty of them. That oh. was not. Impressive. I'll tell you what, Jupiter Wendy, that just is that's a good example of how things can get misconstrued and twisted. Oh, well, I know. If we, if I we know. had a watch that, and we took Danny's word for it, that he saw something two years ago that proves that someone's a racist. They're falling out. Then, really, I don't think it's for anybody outside to judge. However, however. On the face of it, it does seem like a, a racist statement, but it does. I'm not so of course it does because yeah. it was posted out there, right? But it was only posted out there because someone got angry and they were cross with me. And yeah. they were. And that is where my point comes down to about shit stirring. Wait, so who shit stirring? You. you. There are some more shit stirring. Huh? Huh? Yeah, I don't know, um, but all I know is that video certainly wasn't racist. <laughs> yeah, no, the video wasn't. I've got a That was ridiculous. We're all adults in here, right? We're all adults in here. Right? Now, Pascal isn't an adult. Hang on. Joe, Joe. I've never spoken to you before, right? Joe has admitted what was in the text. Jupiter as an adult, has said there is racial language in there. And Joe agrees. It doesn't mean to say that she's a racist. Right, so where did I say that she was? <laughs> You're a fucking why did real muscle. You, you why didn't you put it out there, then? Edmund's face. I don't understand. You that. idiot. <laughs> why are you such an idiot, Buster? Well, I'm an idiot, Joe. You're running a PTSD camp in your rear right down the far right. Vulnerable Listen. people and people who store cocaine like Goddard. Very clever, Joe. That's a really clever idea. 10 out of 10. Shut the fuck up, Buster. You've got vulnerable people. Buster, you're bringing cocaine into the equation, right? Maybe I know people that snorted it. Anyway, Joe, I've been sharing your um, wish list on Amazon everywhere I've been. So. Thank you. Yeah, I'm trying to uh, get the word out. Because people are saying we're, we're trying to raise money and rip the veterans off. But if we get... No. And, no, and, no you know, I've never said that. I have by the way. Well, Joe, I'm happy, to say on the, I'm happy to say on record, Joe, that you've got my full support. Okay. No, thank you. People know that me and James don't. People know me and James don't get on. That's no secret. Me and Vinny don't get on, and other people. But I'm happy to put that to one side because you're doing a good thing. You know, it's not, it's not about any of that crap. You know. We don't all need to get on at the moment. No, that's right. We need we don't. to help the vets. Yeah. Exactly. Spot on. Well, maybe Joe, I was trying to give you advice so you could help the vets without getting. I don't need advice. Back in trouble. <laughs> what? I don't need advice from you, Buster. No, exactly, Joe. You don't take advice from anyone, from what I can see. Neither do you, Buscar. No, don't I? Go on, go on, Buscar. Tell me what advice you're going to give me. I just told you, you need to keep the bad apples out of what you're doing. And you're, you're coming back and just accusing people of trying to destroy you. No, Buscar, listen here, right? And listen good. Right, anyone that wants to help the veterans on this camp, veterans that need to come into this camp, right? We don't need any advice on that. We will not choose who comes here. If they need help, they come here. Joe, that's not what okay. I've been saying. So what are you trying to say? I'm talking about other people outside trying to influence what you're doing in the camp 
with the people that are coming there to stay, Joe. You're talking about James Goddard again, aren't you? I'm talking about several people. But listen, if anyone wants to come here and raise money, they can. Joe, so how long have you been doing this for? We've been doing it for about um, eight months. <clears throat> right, so when did and James Goddard... Is positive. Yeah, so when did James Goddard get involved? Or when did his name come up with yourself? Um, no, James Goddard is, is involved in that. Um, they're doing like a, a, I'm a celebrity, get me out of here um, to raise money. And well, James, Goddard, James Goddard's been invited to that. That's all it is. It's a fundraiser. Right, is it on the veterans' camp? It doesn't matter. It's a fundraiser. Busker, um, this lady, this lady, Joe right Grayson, set this all in motion eight months ago, this camp. Nobody's influenced her. She's an independent person that has taken it upon herself to do something good for veterans. I'm talking about infiltration. <laughs> I've seen it. I've witnessed it. I've been involved in, in um, things where this has happened, OK? You're always looking for something, camp, Busker. Okay. Busker, if you're always looking for something, you're going to find there something. There you go, there you go, don't want to listen. What are you looking for? Don't want to Oh dear. Oh dear, Joe. Yeah, Joe, you watch. Your camp's, your camp's going to fall flat on its face because you're involving yourself with the wrong people. I can't give you involved any more good advice than that. Busker, yeah. shut the fuck up. <laughs> yeah, that's her answer. Shut the fuck up. Not listening. Off you go, Joe. Off you go, Joe. Off you go, Joe. Off you go, Joe. Go do your camp, Joe. I'll give you advice. You don't want to listen. Bye. <laughs> Busker, who are you tell Joe to go when it's Wendy's life, then? I didn't tell him to ask I said bye as an end of the conversation. You said go. I didn't say. 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 I didn't Look at all the fucking infighting that's going on. Mm. Again, she used the that word. When they say infighting, do you know what you actually mean by that, Joe? When I was in the elevator, so when I got on left, I got called it a, a divider, and it is, I'll call it the infighting. That's because I want to stand with the National Front. That's good. I can't believe you're still going on about it. Go to bed. Yeah. <laughs> Busker, what evidence do you have of the National Front? You don't. Oh, my God, have you not seen the donators recently? Oh, do you know what? Busker and Wendy, right? The National Front used to close off the East, East Coast, right? Why aren't they doing it? Right? Put the National Front on the East Coast. Stop all these immigrants coming in. <laughs> <laughs> right? People will... I laugh at that point because I, I think she's joking. <laughs> I literally thought she was joking. Fucking hate me for saying that, but I just said it. Yeah, Joe, I think you want to. Um, yeah. Uh, yeah, I think, I think Joe, you I think you want to stop there. Yeah, I don't think that was good. Yeah. Yeah. There you I go, don't think stop there. The National Front used to get on the East Coast and stop all the immigrants coming in. <laughs> Do you want? Yeah, but the National Front also did a lot of other things, didn't they? I, I think you want to think about what you're saying. That don't matter. It doesn't know. Today, we've got to stop the immigrants coming it in. We it do, matter. yeah, we do. Through political means, yeah, not the NF. It's, no, the no, NF it's, the not, it's not political. It's it, is, it is political. Our yeah, government is letting these people in. We need to change the laws and we need to change the politicians that are letting this happen. The NF yeah. is not the answer. And NF also don't like black people or Jews. I can't see. Yeah, no, 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 no. No. Uh, she messed they up there. Didn't, they didn't used to like the pe the, the black people coming in. Oh, now okay. the NF are about um, the illegal immigrants not coming in. So the NF is now a one policy group, yeah? Yeah, I think so. 
Okay. Well, yeah, I don't think that's the case, but okay. Well, I've mentioned this before. Well, the National had... Front in the late eight, in the late seventies, uh, they they had a lot of black people that was following them because they were the ones that was bringing out uh, repatriations. <laughs> yeah, black supremacists. Yeah. Yeah, black supremacists. Well, yeah, there would be a lot of black supremacists. Well, that would agree with chucking out black people if they thought they were getting money. Yeah. Yeah, but they had a big black following National Front. At the end of the day, mm, he's big. I, I don't think he was actually big. I know, but we're going off. We're going off what Joe came on for. Yeah, stop caping. Stop caping. I don't yeah, like caping. Yeah, I think uh, people talk about politics. You know, it gets a bit messy. Well, do you know what? There's nothing political about this camp. We have got. Ugh. I'm telling you now. We've got probably eight people over there tonight in the clubhouse or in their tents. We've got a homeless veteran that has come here. Yeah. Um, oh, do you know what? Joe, I'm not going to lie to you. I'm going to be honest with you. You just messed up there. What you said about the National Front, you've just made a massive mistake, mate. <laughs> No, fuck off, I haven't. You fuck have. Off, you haven't. really have. You have, Joe. You've made a massive mistake you there. Have. You, you have. have. You really you have. have messed up there. You have. And I can't lie to you, you really have messed up there. The National Front used to guard the East Coast. Okay. No, Im no immigrants came in. Do you want to okay. talk to me for a minute? No, he doesn't want to talk to you. I've been on the station with Dover for five years, and that's your front with a big down there. All right, yeah, great. That's a oh, another left supporter, yeah? Yeah, fucking mugs! There you are, stop there. Here's a mug. Here's a mug. <laughs> Most stupid are gone. Who's just called us a mug? <laughs> Who's just called us a mug? Uh, the lady that left. I don't know where she's gone. It was you, wasn't it? Me? No, I don't speak with a southern accent. Look, no. She's looking for a row with anyone now. Okay, you now. Oh, fuck off. <laughs> yeah, yeah. All right. Just escalating, stupid, fucking idiot. Idiocy, fucking rubbish, right? And you're promoting the NF? I'm not promoting the NF. I'm saying when the NF were on the East Coast, we never had any immigrants coming in Look into it. Research, don't fucking think of it. Don't even listen to hearsay. Go back and do your research, right? Yeah. The NF... <laughs> Well, on the East Coast, we didn't have any immigrants coming in, okay? okay. I don't fucking care. You're a mug. I said so you're a mug. Yeah. Fucking... I said you're a mug. I Come said in. you're a mug. I said you're a mug. Get her off. I don't want to run here. I don't want to run here no more. Tonight, Wendy. Or I'm leaving. No, we know. Oh, well, she just fucked up. Jesus well, Christ. There you go. No, yeah, yeah, yeah. I've told you before about this. <laughs> Fucking sitting on here promoting NF. Who the fuck does she think she is? I don't care how many fucking at stream right fucking stick up for bitches like that. Hey? Right? I don't care. She's fucking at stream. Yeah. I think that's on the Bible now. <laughs> that's pretty fucking obvious. <laughs> Jesus Christ. That ah, Bosco is right. I've got to give him that. Listen, Johnny Reggae, let me just put you in your place, yeah? Let me just tell you something. Jimmy Savile was a child abuser. Everybody stood by and watched him fiddle with kids, dead bodies and fucking women all over the place, disabled people. And they all kept their mouths shut, why? Because he had money, because he was doing stuff for charity. I don't care how much she's doing for the veterans. If she's a wrong one, she's a wrong one. 
You can't make it. She just, she just exposed her actual feelings, then. She fucked up. Anyone saying otherwise is, well, biased or fucking brain dead. And don't be offended that we don't like the NF. Because if you like the NF, then fuck off and like the NF. How can don't you be offended? Them. How can people be offended <laughs> well, that we don't like it. the NF? Well, they come around you like, oh, you're not an ethno nationalist. And all this bollocks, fuck off then. All of you, you bunch of fucking pricks. Fucking. Oh, man, these people. I mean, it's such a shame because she has got a good idea. But if she thinks well, that I'm going to help people give money to somebody that's that fucking extreme, you've got another thing coming. That's what, I said, that's what I said to her, Jude, that her idea is going to fall flat on its face when the truth comes out about who is, who is getting involved with this and the truth things of what are going on there. I think it's the same people, again, I'm telling you, that walks right on, maybe with the other best, are now getting involved with this PTSD camp. Mm. It's a shame, yeah. really, the idea, because they do need something like that. Yeah, that's that. That's that done. It's obvious they've all moved further to the right, and that is what's happening. And let them get on with it. End of. All of them. They've all gone further to the right. So that was, that was my my concern was the veterans being led up the merry path. Okay, yeah. so yeah. we've got someone disagreeing. So let's have a look at the comment. Right, but that, that proves no, it doesn't no, prove no, my point. No, no, no. But. I don't think a lot of people understand how far right some councils are because, like I said, the BNP started putting candidates out as independents. Yeah. And I know a council that has 16 councillors, nine of them are ex BNP. Yeah, that's why they stand as independents. Yes, I know. Because they don't know their political standing. What about the comment uh, that, uh, I don't know, something somebody said? Well, I can answer that very easily. I said, well, the NF also had negatives as well, and she said, well, that didn't matter. So okay. she's completely ignoring the realities of what the National Front actually was. Thank you. So, yeah. Can I thank people? Can I just say thank you for the lovely comments in the um, chat? What about the... So they just repeat what they're saying, Buster, you're right. They're just saying that they'll pick off comedy. <laughs> well, well, I'm not saying you're right, Buster. <laughs> Buster's funny, but... Buster, uh, stop peacocking, mate. <laughs> <laughs> what? what? Stop peacocking. Yeah. I know, I know. I have a right me. to be a bloody state of kids. Buster, he's always right. <laughs> Shut up, always right, yeah. Shut up, Buscar, you can fuck off as well, because right now I don't know I like people who fucking rub salt in the wound. I'm not going okay? to be the other one who will, will, will do it out, but I just, let me just say this to you, but I love you, but when I'm trying to uh, communicate something to you, please take in and absorb what I'm saying and analyse it a lot longer. That's all I'm saying. Are you taking a piss, mate? No, but Jupiter, no, of course I'm not Jupiter. You know well, I'm it not. sounds like it because I analyse. No, I am not here to take Hold on, hold on, Busker. I make my judgments based on evidence, not on hearsay. Yeah, and I'm glad that you do, and I'm glad that you do. Yeah. yeah, and I told you that I was going to be fair, and I was fucking fair. I you waited was, until the evidence. You was fair, yes. <sighs> was I right what I said to her? Or was I out of order? I don't know. <laughs> Dave, I thought you were pretty fair as well. You were fair right up until she fucking put her foot in it. Yeah, yeah, yeah I agree. I totally agree. Yeah, it was when Busker mentioned the NF and I asked Busker who who were the NF and then she came in with the what she said. Well, right, hang on, hang on. So, uh, does the NF still exist? Yes. Yes. How many members has it got? Uh, I don't know. Oh, no, I don't know. know. Well, a lot more than it used to have because it seems like they've infiltrated the the FNATs are allowing a, a very close allegiance to them now. Because there used to be an online register of all members of National Front. Oh, wow, right, okay. Well, I haven't seen it for a few years, but it always used to be, every three or four years, a list of uh, their, their members. 
Am I right in thinking they are a registered, no, registered political party as well? No, I thought, I thought they disbanded. I know, no, they still... No, they're still there. That's why I've asked the question. Yeah. No, I'm pretty sure I heard Freddie Martin saying that they're, they are registered as a political party. So, they are, then they do exist. You know? all, I, all I can say is when I'm thinking about illegal immigration, the first thing that comes to mind is not the National Front. Let's, right. let's just put it that way. I didn't know they were patrolling up and down the southeast of the country. No, did I. I didn't know that either. Dad's army, do you reckon? So what did they do then when they rocked up on shore? <laughs> the I don't and know. Back in the I know. <laughs> Is that what they was up to? <laughs> Pushed him around the tab and stuck him back in the dinghy. Then I get, get sailing. No, for fuck's sake, the world's gone mad. Yeah, Donna, I think you're right there, love. Well, oh, she's 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 just... the chat. Pick up, Donna. Yeah, I've got to say, Joe, that's my respect to school. Nice to say, Joe. No, do you know what I say? She's lost more support than me and respect her because like, with that, she has. Yeah, that wasn't good. Yeah. That was a bad move. Yeah, I'll admit I've got it wrong. And I think I've got it wrong on that one. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I think it's Donna. Donna's in the chat. Donna. You want to see the best of people, don't you? You do, mate. That's it. And you, you, you don't know anything. Good, 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 good things. Good idea. Good idea. Yeah. Jason, it was such a good idea, right? And I was fearing for the veterans that it was all going to harm the veterans in the long run because I just thought it would. You know what, Busker? You know what, Busker? Busker, if you conducted yourself better, people might believe you more, you know? That's all I'm going to fucking say. (laughs) Jason, I understand what you're saying, right? It's more of frustration because I know that I'm right. I'm yeah, but the way you behave, Buskin, it makes people not want to believe you. Do you sound like a big scratching virus, you know? And when you act like, act like a brat and sound like a brat, people treat you like a brat, you know? Yeah, I know. They're not, not going to listen to you, you know? And anyway, when, they, when you when you really write on something, people be like, oh, don't believe him, that's Busco. You know, he always does that, you know? So you, you got to, like, you got to understand why people might not want to believe you all the time, you know? you got to brush up your axe a little bit, Pascal, you know? Everybody, everybody that I had deemed in that, in that yellow vest, what went on, I could see them, some of those people going over this PTSA camp, I could see it. So now the person I'm talking about, Jason knows, and he was promoting that yellow vest thing, but he says... He had a slot on Jason's show called Ask the Lefty. Yeah. It was like a um, angel moon moment one day. Did you get that? Over, you know? <laughs> <laughs> it felt like angel, angel moon all over again. <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> Fuck yeah. <laughs> and that's what I said to you, Pasco. Maybe one day a week, have a day off. So you can recharge your mind, recharge yourself, and have a walk in the countryside. Just have a day of relaxation. And then maybe things might come out a bit more clearer. Oh, wow. Never expected that. Mm. To be honest, Wendy, nor did I. But I'm sorry, she just fucking went over the line. Did your connection drop out, <laughs> uh, Jupiter? Because all I heard is fuck off and then you disappeared. <laughs> yeah, I was so angry, I knocked myself out. <laughs> so, Wendy, you're going to keep the stream up so people can see what just happened tonight because I think a lot of people need to see what happened. Yeah, I'll keep it up, but I just want to say yeah. to Jupiter. I was going to say also including people that are attending that thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Jupiter. That maybe don't know what they've been involved in, you know? Yeah, sorry, yeah. Wendy. I'm sorry I went mental. No, 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 no. Can you stop saying, uh, if so-and-so stays here, I'm going to leave? Why are you saying that? Because this is your channel as much as it's my channel. It's no, your no. channel as much as it's my channel. <laughs> 
No, I know, but I don't believe I, I should stop you from talking to people. When I look, when I make my judgments, I don't expect people to follow me. I never ever do that. I never ever tell anyone they can't engage with some people. So for me, it's either she goes or I do. Um, the, that woman, the, the, honestly. Well, the woman that supports the National Front. Yeah. All right, then. Hey, well, Drupa, Drupa, you know what I said? said? Drupa, you know what I said you would be good for? <laughs> yeah. Right. <laughs> In situations like what you just had, which you've got to learn not to do what you've done. No, I'd rather stay as I am, thanks, mate, and not be in politics. I'd rather stay as I am. I'm, I'm sorry. No, it's, not, it's not politics. It's changing things where you live. Yeah, but I'd rather, I'd rather fucking do it vocally and other people do it the nice way. I'm sorry. I, no, I won't be able to contain myself. Sorry. No, there's not a nice way. You can say exactly what you say, but when you said, when you ducked out because you was frustrated and you slammed the thing down, a little bit more control... And you can go places, I'm telling you. No, I didn't slam it down. I fucking knocked myself out where I was so fucking angry that I was fucking... I understand that. You can be part of the reason tonight, can't you? I totally understand it. For fuck's sake. Oh, well, the plot thickens in right wing Eastern. The thing is, I can understand racialized language, right? I understand that people do do it when it's amongst friends and they're at the fucking hell to stand there and go, hey, Nev, hey, Nev, yeah, they were looking up and down the shores of Britain. <laughs> well, that would make sense as to why that Marion's donating, wouldn't it, really? Mm. Yeah. Oh, Danny Jones, what are you on about? No one's slated you. Grow up. Oh, the far right is a crime. The evidence you brought was not racist, <laughs> Danny. That part of it isn't what made me think she's racist. <laughs> no. <laughs> oh, no. K KRS says I'm stupid in the chat. Oh, God. What will um, I do? What will I do? You no, know, somebody's saying about... Um, <laughs> I can't believe Danny thought that video was racist. Oh, God. <laughs> Danny, you must support BLM, then. That's all no, right. no, no. Let me just tell Ultranique, right? We're not, we no, we're not, we're not fucking caliphates, okay? We don't fucking cover people's sins. No, sorry. That's what got us to having a fucking Jimmy Savile running around fucking Buckingham Palace, fiddling with little kids in the fucking hospitals and disabled women, and fucking going into morgues and fucking having it away with their bodies. Mm -hmm. Is he is he joking? In the chat, he just said it was a black statue. <laughs> Oh. You said it was a black statue for fuck's sake. Right, well, the black woman that got put on the boots should have been fucking pulled down, and her fucking statue should have been kicked all over the place and then thrown in the Thames. Sorry, Danny. <laughs> it was me. Oh, it was a black was statue. What was it be? It was me. Yeah. Another thing as well, Wendy, is does this put any spotlight on... Uh, and this might, be pop might not be popular to say, but does it put active or nobby in the spotlight? <laughs> well, I think they'd have oh, to re... Both clearly move further to the right. It's obvious. Yeah, they're going to have to re-evaluate their position, aren't they? Well, I would. Yeah, I, I would. certainly would as well. Yeah. Yeah, she is racist. I don't care what anyone... Everyone else can say she's not if they like. I fucking think she is. That's the end bit. Dave does. I know Dave does. <laughs> what? I think that she's racist. I mean, fucking hell, come on. It's obvious. I don't know if she's racist or not, but I know that her go-to was the National Front, which is strange. So, so we have someone coming in our streams, uh, coming in our hangouts, that was ex-military, and he suffers PTSD. And up until a few years ago, he used to go to a camp, I think it was down in Aldershot, uh, for two weeks over Christmas, so that they, he wasn't lonely and whatnot. Uh, he's totally dry, 
and they have to get up at six. It's like being in the army, in that you've got to look after your bed and everything, uh, but there's other people there. So the idea is good, there's not enough places being supplied by the actual army for this. No, we know that. We, we, yeah, we have people, to do nothing. People will time. exploit that. People will exploit that gap, as any gap will be exploited if there's money to be made. Yeah, the thing, the thing is, Hoof, right? It was a really good idea, and 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 she, well, the first time she come on, she came across across was quite well spoken, knew what she was doing. <laughs> there was still some questionable stuff. Mm. Don't get me wrong, she couldn't tell us who was actually who the veterans were that were in charge of the money collecting and stuff like that. But she seemed to be sort of like putting it across properly. And then from nowhere, in it. Yeah, from literally nowhere. See, again, as, as you know, I'm not interested in any of this really. Well, I've heard a lot of this ETSD camp. I was going to look into it, but because uh, I know what it's like out there for ex-veterans with the person who comes in as. Yeah, but an ex-veteran wouldn't want to stand with a, um, with the National Front. Well, there are... See, so there was a lot of National Front in the Army in the 70s. No, no. There was. No, she can do whatever she wants with this camp. All I'm saying is her comments about the NF was stupid. 100% stupid. Why she mentioned it? Anything. You can say what you like. That was just dumb. Why is she? she that, that, is camp. that is camp. Is that where she was right now? Is that where she was screaming from? Yeah, they're all there building it at the moment. See, somebody's put uh, our clash, I don't even know who that is. AA for veterans. She loves a bit of the sauce. Right? Any PTSD camp, you shouldn't have anything like that there. But there Alcohol. is. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Alcohol or drugs. I don't know. Well, I don't know about the drugs, but there's certainly alcohol. Why she mentioned the National Front, God knows. I don't know. <laughs> Look, if you support the National Front, just support them. Jesus Christ, man. What's wrong with people? I don't know why they're getting offended. She brought it up, not me. I didn't mention the National Front. She did. See, again, I haven't looked into them for years and years, right? But when did you show the stream of the NF in the early 80s? Yeah. Right? And I'd already, I think I'd already spoken to you about what happened in where I am. And when you put that up, I've actually sent that to this council to show them this is what's happened at your council. Oh, Glenn's in the chat. If it's the real... Yeah. Well, does Glenn want to come on? He might disagree with us, but I don't care. But look, Glenn, no, you? I'm not supporting anyone that supports the National Front. Sorry. Please no, they try to I'll, I'll do it. I'll, I would support anything for the veterans, but not being run by fucking racists. That's that. I'm talking on about the NF, according to somebody in the chat. <laughs> <laughs> of course you're harping on about the NF. It's a big bloody statement to make. Yeah, that's it, isn't it? People don't all talk bollocks. But hold on, I've just got to say this. There's very few people online that have value their opinion. And I don't give a shit about those people, so... Go fuck yourself, people in the chat. No offence. What's the matter with Ultranique? I've timed them out, I think. Might have even fucking threw them off the channel, to be honest. <laughs> Another oh one. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> oh bloody hell, man! I don't know. I didn't. Why are people getting angry at me? I didn't bloody say it. Great, Glenn, come on and tell us what you think over what just happened. Yeah. <laughs> I said it's the real one. Mm. Joe King, come on the panel and show us your balls, you fucking prick. There's knobheads in the fucking side chat, man. Shut yeah. up. Listen, I don't care what the what these fucking extremists think, right? If they wanna if they wanna fucking march around saying that they hate Jews, they hate blacks, uh, they hate the disabled, you know? Yeah. Right? They're not the sort of people I wanna be around, I'm sorry. So why does it get mad at us when we point it out? Fucking hell, man. I know. Hi, Glenn. 
Hello everyone, yeah, I've been listening to I've been sitting in the back listening to it. And I just thought, well, no, she's going to do this late. But, but there again, you know, I don't think it was to do with her moving right down on the camp. But as you know, I got shot by actually Patriot right in there. Glenn, would you come on the camp and help that? And uh, go on this, um, get me out of here when it is. They didn't tell me who was in it. They know me and Mr. Gobbard like, don't go more with each other. They know it's going to yeah. come the roads. So I know the sharp all along. There was two or three people in there who we have got a little bit of problems with. Um, those who me. And they wanted to go on there. And my picture would have been on that picture with James Goddard. Now, do you think it's right the people in the room that me and James have been asking now for since 2018 and 2019? Now, coming up, he's still slaying me, loving me all the time. And he thinks I'm going to sit there and eat spiders. Now, Joe Drayson must have known what was going on. She must have known that my name was going to be brought in there. Now, if I didn't see Goddard's name going in there well before this screenshot, I would have said, definitely, I would help the PTSD out. I would definitely go on there and I'd eat spiders. I'd do anything to raise money for the vets. If anyone knows about the vets, I support the vets. Mm -hmm. I was down Gus's camp for six weeks, going up and down the country. I went all over the vets. But when I see this happen on there, and when I've seen the people who was attending it, knowing the fact, who could, if, say for instance, people in the room, if you've got a problem with someone, you know it's <laughs> going to come to blows. Would you go on a camp with them, not knowing that you can talk it out? I could not stand and talk to an FNAT and talk about Hitler and talk no. stuff like that inside of camp, knowing that veterans are going to be there and I've got to cause trouble at a veterans camp, so I declined it. Now I've declined it, they're calling me a bottle job. Now, no, no, you've me? done the right thing, Glenn. You've done the right thing. So I try, they try to set me up. You know, they try to set me up. He slated Tommy, they slated Tommy, they slated Tommy. Right, yeah, Tommy can God. talk for himself. I'm surprised they didn't ask Tommy to go on the, the camp. <laughs> you know with, what I mean? all, with a lot of ex-veterans with PTSD, yes. there's going to be discussions going on about Hitler. It's not going to be fucking very good for him, is it? No, actually, you are, you are, you are right. With the likes of God out there, he's going to be talking about his FNATs, yeah? Because that's what he wants yeah. me there for. Because I pulled him. He wants me to stand there and talk about FNATs. He wants to talk about that my son-in-law is black and he should never be in the country. Yeah and things like that. So you think I've got to stand there and listen to him for two days. No, but it's, a PTS, it's a PTSD camp to help right. veterans. Right. People should be discussing ways of helping them with their PTSD. You're right. Now, I don't think this getting me out of it is good. I believe you should have counsellors there. Yes, which we yes, had, exactly. Which we had down on Gus's camp when they closed down combat stress, which we know there's millions and millions <laughs> and millions they took, and we were down for the reason, right? And there was Jim Davison come down, you know, and we had, you know, he, he spoke to Gus, you know, and I've been a lot of vets places, but all I can tell you at the moment, all I can say at the moment, um, watch how I say this, um, there's a bigger one happening. That's all I can say. Okay. That's all I can say at, 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 at the moment. See, all I'm seeing down that PTSD game is drink, drink. Drink, yeah. drink. Yeah. 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 And you do not put drink anywhere near someone's got PTSD. Yeah, and, that that's what's other, and that proved it the other night with Nobby, when Nobby got in there ranting and raving about me, saying what I've said, which I am willing to call him a liar. I, I don't tell lies, I tell the truth. Now, he was drunk, and he's come back from that camp. How many people around that fire are going to be standing there drinking? <laughs> and what's it going to do with the PTSD people? by drinking, right? And let's not talk about, hold up, it's for vets. Let's talk about PTSD for the groomers, the girls who have been yeah. groomed. Why aren't they allowed to go there? All right, we are open to vets. But I'm talking about PTSD in general. If they're talking about PTSD, let's get the people with mental health, with PTSD, who suffered. Let's help them as well. Yeah, I agree with that, actually. And that's why I said I'm doing this boxing match. I'm going to give half to the vets. 
and I'm going to give half to the mental health, PTSD, groomers, all down the lines on that side of it. But you can't leave the other ones behind. Again, to back to a PTSD camp for veterans, alcohol is the last things you need there. If you really want to do anything, you've got to have some sort of counselling there so that these individuals can have got somebody to help. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, we went down Gus's, and I won't mention the, the, the poor veteran's name. He come down there, right? And he hasn't spoke to no one, mate, for seven months. And finally, the, the PTSD got him down there. He was ready to kill his soul. He got him down there, right? Within two days, speaking to his own people on the right way, not likes of me and anyone else, their own people. And you know what? They broke him in two days. Not saying he got away, but um, he's come out of it. But he never spoke for seven months, kept his mouth shut. And this particular uh, veteran spoke to him and spoke to him and spoke to him and spoke to him. And we couldn't believe it in two days that he spoke. That's the kind of stuff you want to see. Yeah. Well, I know something else as well. She's fucked up Winston Mackenzie running for the mayor for London. Oh, yeah, yeah. It's all going down there and associating with them lot. Fucking hell. Mm, mm, mm. See, see, I don't know if she's racist or she's not racist, but when she come out tonight and stuck by the National Front, you know, the NF, I do not believe the NF was on the southeast coast, so I don't know where she got that from. I do not know where she got that from. I know, you know what I mean? Because the 70s, was we getting boats coming over in the 70s? No. No, it wasn't, no. Not like no. that. So I, I don't know what games you played at. Since so she's been the National Front and done the, the South East Coast now, the National, cause National Front is still going. They, they are still going. So well, I'm, I'm in the South now, East. I'm in the South East, and I thought that was just group talking that, because yes. that's, why it's a, that's why it's a mute, because I started laughing. Yeah, yeah. Not unless the National Front are down there now, you know, um, supposedly. The, down there, down the, on the beaches, I don't know. If I but remember I rightly, right, Glenn, she said five years ago. Five years ago, mm -hmm. they were down the... The only thing I know with the National Front were last... Were last... Had a go was 2004, 2005 outside Liverpool Crown Court when the grooming gangs were on. If you see it, when they stood outside and a lot of the National Fund got arrested and got seven or eight years apiece. You see, the thing is, right, if the veterans, any veterans out there that watch what happened tonight, I've got to basically distance myself well and well truly from that camp. You know? Yeah, but Jason... Unless, Jason. Unless, the, unless the National Front. And the thing no. is with Nobby, and active, well, more Nobby because he's a veteran, if he wants to maintain any kind of respecting the veteran community as a veteran, then he would probably want to step away from that camp as well. Because he would be but expected to by his, 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 his uh, fellow veterans. I'm not if, he if he doesn't, he'll be, he'll be getting called out by the veterans for associating with someone that's National Front. Yeah, it seems to be political, yeah. doesn't it? It seems to be very political. And Nobby's going to be in a really difficult situation now because he's got a lot of work into building that, building that uh, bunkhouse today. And he's worked his balls off for like a week or two building it. And if he doesn't have a clue that the person he's doing it for is a supporter and defender of National Front, he's going to be like, what the fuck have I got myself into? Yeah, but Jason, the way, the way that he's gone out, Glenn and Tommy and the videos that he's made, he kind of looks like he's already yeah. been moved to that or, side. Yeah, or, yeah, yeah, is he... Well, but again, no, what I can say... Has he been sucked into it? Or does he know exactly what he's got into? That's well, what he's going to so, He's going to have to make that clear to people. You know? All I could say is on that with Nobby, and I'm telling the truth now, I'm not lying. If you can remember going back to the Dover car thing, yeah? He said it's going to be take any man, don't matter who you are, what politics you are, I'm yeah. middle right, I'd have anyone turn up. Yes? Right? Right? Yeah. That's fair enough. Until one of the Tommy team got hold of him and put a statement out and said, no, you don't say me like that. He backtracked it. Okay. And said, National Front, if you go back to when he first said it, right, it's going to be a slow-moving car. Then he said all foot soldiers, didn't he? All okay. foot soldiers yeah. will, will, will attend. Brilliant. Right, and then he said, it doesn't matter who you are. 
I'm not far right. I'm not far left. I'm middle right. Fair enough. Well, I think Donna Sexton's called it right here in the side chat. She's written, Nobby went to that camp and they turned him against Glenn. He'd done nothing wrong. You know what? I want to believe, I want to believe that's true. Well, hang, hang on, hang on. Well. Hang on. Well, Dave said something earlier. Dave said something earlier that we've had another Jupiter moment, right? And I totally understand where he's coming from because that woman, Joe, might have NF tendencies, right? But for her to say that they patrolled the southeast coast, that was the drink talking. The mm. thing is, mm. she's, she's just put the nail in yeah, the I know, I know. of her project. It really shows that, that statement that the NF patrolled the southeast coast shows that she doesn't know what she's talking about. Because right. they never yeah. did. Mm. Which is where the drink was talking and... Mm. I think I'm explaining. I, think I, would, I would call it more of an angel moon moment where she was more or less saying, We need the NF back. Yes, like, yes. And the drink yeah. does lower the shield a bit. Yeah. But, so does that mean it was all true or does that mean it was honestly coming? Well, I, I think she might be, she might have NF tendencies, but she doesn't understand what she's saying because by saying about the NF patrolling the southeast coast, somebody's told her that. Yeah. Well, I've got to, I'm not going to mention her name, but as you come from the southeast, I went down there and I'd done a lot of work down the south three years ago with the Tommy team. You went down there, right? There is a woman down there from UKIP, right? And I got hold of, um, I was a UKIP leader, Gerald Batten. I know Gerald really well, right? And this woman called her Gerald. And this woman is a racist as you can get. And she's on the safe southeast coast. She's the one who started it, and I ain't going to say her name. That's unfair. Do you well, know the her? BMP, the BNP did get very strong in Margate because of all these Europeans. Yeah, I think everyone knows who you're on about, Glenn, because we all, we all follow what goes on on here. Yes, that's right. And I heard her remarks, and that's why I pulled away from the southeast coast. And it took me four hours to go down. I went down there three times to I walk around, give a leaflet. And when I found out her views, and I'm thinking, well, they're still about... And this was like three years ago, but it was nothing to do with the National Front because I didn't see any National Front down there three years ago. But UKIP was very big on the South East. Wasn't big BMP. I don't know about BMP were big, but UKIP were very big, weren't they? Yeah, back in the day they was, yeah. Yeah, they, I think they took the South East. I think they took Ken. I think they won Ken, didn't they? Wendy, I've sent you some more stuff in the email. I'll probably send you something. So, you email. so so then we go back to Nobby again right so Nobby was talking to me blah 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 someone's made a white lie up and um, the person who he's saying was Big Mark and Big Mark is denying it so Big Mark wants to front Nobby and say when did I say this I believe he's been got at because I was talking to Nobby Christmas time now I supposedly said this December round about January, he wished me Happy New Year. I went to see him at Nottingham. Hello, Glenn, how's things, brother? You all right? You all right? Yeah, hello, Nobs. Yeah, doing a good job, mate. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Up to about three weeks ago, he calls me out and says, I want a stamp on his berry. And I can swear I never said it. And someone's got to him. So he's down at camp and they're talking. They want to destroy Tommy. They want to destroy Tommy. Yeah, exactly. Uh, they yeah. want to take away what Tommy has built and put their themselves. No, 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 no. You, you can see it, but they're not having a dig at Tommy now. They're going people round him. You know, they they're going round the circles to get at Tommy. So I believe Nobby's been sucked in. I honestly do. That's my opinion. And do you want? Do you honestly think? If this was a PTSD camp, uh, I'm going to put it, everyone helping. How many people, how many vets are down there helping out? Did she say six? Um, eight, I think it was, love. Eight. eight. Now, if this was so big, I'm not knocking, I like Simon Bean. If this was to do with Simon Bean, Dean Cumberbatch, there'd be, there'd be loads of you'd, have there. thousands. you'd have thousands yeah. there. Yeah. Yes or no? <coughs> Correct. Right. So why is there only eight vets there? And she said she got someone in tonight, didn't she? Now who's got 
Uh, who's got some um, two people rang up? Yeah, apparently. Brilliant. And if they're doing the right, good job for them. Brilliant. Bring them in. But the way I see it tonight, we drink down there again. Why do you want me going down there with drink? I just proved it tonight again. She was drunk. Yeah, oh, I, camp, I don't want to be political, don't it? It seems to be political. Yeah, but <laughs> let's get it straight. I don't want that PTSD affair, and I want to keep going, and I will support it, but I won't go down there. I will keep on putting it out. But the more I'm hearing, I've got to go against it. I've got to go against it. Well, I think I'm not sure. I respect you for that. I respect you for that because I think um, it takes a bigger person to stand up and get a load of criticism off of people saying, oh, yeah, but they're going to be helping the vets and whatever.